Just mixing up some post-workout shake for after we train, and then I'm good to go. Sounds good, bro. You guys are probably like, whoa, did I click on an old video by accident? Exactly. I'm in the old trap house again, man. First time in two years being back in this house. Because Dan's on his last year of this lease before he gets his own property. But he's been holding it down here in the meantime, and I gotta say it's a lot cleaner than it was when uh, we lived here. Oh, man. <laughs> this is where Made Athletics used to be stored right here. That was where my deadlift platform was. In here was the home gym, as you guys recall. We had the whole squat rack and everything. This is where my stereo used to be for music. In fact, this carpet is the new carpet we had to put in when I got home from Cabo in 2016 and found my basement flooded. This is crazy, man. Blast from the past. Crazy to be back in this place. Anyway, Dan challenged me to a combine style 225 bench press for max reps. Stop it. And uh, we're gonna go head to head with that today. He's about 10, 10 pounds less than me in body weight. She just wants to be in the video. So warming up is everything, not just with heavy weight, even when you're doing a combine style 225 max reps, still wanna work up to some heavy singles. 80 to 90%, I go up to about 90%-ish, roughly 85, 90%. If you're not so good with singles, like I'm better at singles than I am at executing higher reps. So I can handle heavier singles and it doesn't fatigue me so much. If you're better at reps than you are singles, maybe stay in the lower side, 80%. But you just want to get the muscles firing. And I talk about this in the bench ebook that I just released. I talk about warming up properly to get everything firing optimally for your actual working sets. So working up to like 345 pounds today for a single, just get a tiny bit of exertion going on in there. That way when I go back to 225, it feels like absolutely nothing. That ebook is available by the way. It's a full guide on how to blast your bench press. If I could write to my 14 year old self and tell me how to get a 405 bench faster than I did, this guide would be it. Also, if you're stuck at a plateau, I know how annoying that is. I was stuck at 365 pounds for like almost two years. So this, this guide will also help you break past plateaus. And it talks about really technical things I've never really heard anybody cover. So that's called the Big Bench Book. It's in my info box below. Download it. Let me know what you guys think. Why do I go first, Dan? So I know what number I got to get. I'm taking a few minutes. I'm actually fucking nervous. I'm more nervous about this than I would be for like a heavy max. Just because I'm so bad at, at high reps. And I never practiced them, man. And I've been practicing. Dancing and practicing. <laughs> uh. For 30, but I'll take 27. I don't remember what my best is, but it's not 27, so man, it feels light, and then finally, when it hits you, it hits you. <laughs> Major tip with AMRAPs do not slow down. It's instinctive to want to pause at the top and catch your breath when you start getting really tired. That's immediately how you'll fail and chop reps off. No matter how much it sucks, keep the speed moving. Don't try to stop and catch your breath. Come on, Dan. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Easy way, dude. It's moving fast. Come on. Get out of your head and keep moving. Come on. Good shit. Stay out of your head. Come on. Let's go. Good shit. Come on. Twenty-two. Twenty-three? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. What'd you get, Dan? Twenty-two or twenty-three? Twenty-two. What's your best ever with two twenty-five? Twenty-four. Twenty-four? And what do you weigh right now? 
172. 172. So he's like 10, 11 pounds lighter than I am. So that's pretty damn good. Now we're going to calculate it out pound for pound who came out the best in that way. Divided by 182.2. Was it that? Was it 182.8? Okay. 182.8 is what it was. My coefficient, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we got here. 225 times 22. 28. 28. You win. Damn. I want to say, though, dude, in your defense, you did hit that peg like five times. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's a badass, so he won't ever make excuses, but let's just be real for a second. The man clipped that peg like five times. You do that during an AMRAP, wrap, it's likely to fuck you up. You see the jump on trend, Dan. <clears throat> oh, shit, these are two different dumbbells. <laughs> so my biggest two takeaways if you're trying to do combine style training max amount of reps on anything one warm up with a heavier single beforehand don't fatigue yourself or exhaust yourself don't max out don't go into grinder territory where you're fighting to get the rep up but make it heavy enough where you have to put some focus and energy into it it gets your blood flowing it gets everything firing you're basically priming your cns and your body to fire under heavy loads then when you drop down to the lightweight your body's ready to handle heavyweight and it just fires that lightweight away number two Speed, try to get those reps out as fast as possible early out of the gate in the beginning. Get as many as you can before that fatigue hits you and then when it hits you, do not try to stop or pause or catch your breath or regain your stamina. It won't work. Holding 225 pounds over you while you're already fatigued is gonna drain you more. So just keep it going, keep pressing, no matter how tired you feel. My two big tips, download the Big Bench book if you wanna blast your bench press up. It's a full guide, it's a coach's eye. You can use it on top of whatever program you're on now. It'd be like if you were to train with me and I overlooked your form, technique, and training and helped you fix any weak points. Download it. Yeah, Dan, it's all in the calves, baby, all in the calves. Curl with your back, baby, curl with your back. Easy, easy weight, look at those guns. Third set in a row with these, final set of this exercise. I'm gonna see how many reps I can do all out. This is actually 400 pounds. These are um, 200 pound plates, and the bar weighs nothing. Seriously. It's still moving, dude. Don't stop. Let's go. Come on. Three more at least. Come on. All day. Keep going. Keep going. That's it, bro? That form probably got questionable. But again, it's 400 pounds. Question from the comment section of the last YouTube video. Nick, do you think us natties could get as big as you without going on a long, huge bulk? Or could we slowly get as jacked as you by lean bulking? You can most definitely get as jacked and as strong as me, and then stronger and more jacked by going on a long lean bulk. The key is to just be patient. The same way I'm drawing out this cut, I didn't just zap myself into a starving oblivion and cut way down to no body fat in, in like 12 to 16 weeks, I'm drawing it out nice and slow. That's allowed me to maintain my muscle mass, maintain my strength in the gym, you have to apply the same sort of patience to the other way around as well. Bulk up gradually, slowly. Track your macros, even when you're in a bulking phase. Track your macros, and the same way you would slowly drop calories into a deficit, you know, week by week or even month by month in the cut, do the same thing with the bulk. Just slowly and gradually add maybe 300 calories at a certain point when you need it, when you start plateauing. Maybe bump up carbs a little bit. Maybe have higher carb days and lower carb days, just like you would when you're dieting. Um, perhaps just higher calories overall each day, being in a surplus every single day. Maybe one day has more of a surplus than the other. Track, stay meticulous, and, and gain slow. Remember, muscle growth is a slow thing. It's the fat gain that comes quick. I'm gonna begin picking one question from the comment section of every single video and answering it right on video in the next video. So that's fun, let's do that from now on. Leave your, leave your questions below and uh, I'll answer it in the next video. And I'll do this every video, and it might always be in the beginning, sometimes it might be at the end of the video, sometimes it might be in the middle, you gotta find where it is, but I'll be picking one question every video from the last video's comment sections.